Hello everyone, this is Dr. G. Karthik Reddy, working as Associate Professor in the Department of EC, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. And today's session topic is Random Process. Okay, here we are going to discuss the random process, its concept and its classification of random process. And today's session topics are Random Process Definition, the Classification of Random Process and what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic random process and we are also discussing about the distribution and density function of random process and first of all what is the definition of random process okay first before discussing the definition of random process what is the definition of random variable okay random va value okay random value is only used for what is the function of only the sample space okay for uh, x is function of only the sample space sample space values okay whatever for example this is a sample space we are having some sample points each sample point is mapping to the real axis okay it is mapping to the real axis okay uh, whatever you are having this is mapping to the real axis similarly here random process is a function of both sample space and time in random variable we are not having the x is a function of in here sample space and time whereas in random variable the random variable is a function of only the sample space okay here it is represented by x of t comma s okay time and sample space we are using or we can simply call x of t means here it is a function of time means simple definition random variable with function of time is called random process okay random process this random process you are having other name that is called stochastic process okay stochastic process which deal with randomly varying time okay randomly it is varying time because you can check in the venn diagram here you are having this is a sample space of n events okay okay each sampling point each sampling point represents one random process or it is a waveform representation each one having the different scenario each one having the different representation of the waveform okay different wa uh, representation of waveform okay such waveforms example we can also take that which you can take the message signals or noise okay message signals with noise we can also take the example okay random process also represents the just now i discuss a random variable with time is fixed okay time is fixed you can consider that uh, for example temperature of some particular four days if you are having four days scenario of a temperature each day each time for example i am considering at morning eight o'clock morning eight o'clock means the time is fixed a time is fixed you are going to get some values at some time some values for example this is for today this is for tomorrow this is for day after tomorrow this is for the next day okay each day we at morning eight o'clock whatever you are calculating the instant that is called random variable okay random variable that is why it for fixed time that is called random variable the concept of random process can be extended to include time and outcome will be the random fluctuations that is x of t comma s where s is the outcome of the experiment yes s is the outcome of the experiment okay here you are having the outcomes each one represents one outcome of the experiments all the outcomes are mapped to the waveform that represents the definition of random process okay that represents the definition of random process it can be up to it can be either four cases or n cases scenario here we are discussing only for four cases okay this is a fixed time duration this one represents the fixed time duration at fixed time it behaves as a random variable okay if the time is varying time is varying along with the sample point time is also varying that is called random process now classification of random process now next definition okay next we are discussing classification of random process okay random process is classified into four types continuous random process next second one discrete random process next third one continuous random sequence next fourth one is discrete random sequence okay first definition continuous random process in continuous random process okay we are considering both x and time t both are in continuous x and time t both are in continuous that is just basic example okay you can take the example of okay any signal which is moving in the wireless or whenever you are understanding the behavior of the wireless channel you will get all the example of continuous random process in this case both the random variable and time t are continuous both the random variable and time t are continuous in general. this is the example of first case continuous random process in the second case discrete random process in the discrete random process x has only discrete values 
only the discrete instant values you are having while the t is continuous while the t is continuous you can check that x axis t is continuous but here you are having only the discrete values you can check that only discrete values only you are having in this case in all the cases you are having discrete values but x is continuous okay means x axis is continuous that is time t is continuous this is the case of discrete random process now next third one continuous random sequence okay now you will get the term sequence in the sequence term x must be discrete values okay here yeah? but t has t has discrete values okay x is continuous you can check that t is a discrete values we are taking only the discrete instants okay only the discrete instants we are having these are all the discrete instants t is discrete okay but x is continuous x is continuous you can check for any signal t is discrete okay only discrete instants only you are having and x is continuous and next one is discrete random sequence discrete random sequence in this case in a discrete random sequence okay random variable x and time t both are in discrete both are in discrete okay both are in discrete when you are going to get this one here this is the application of digital communication okay digital communication means after sampling and content it can be obtained by sampling and quantizing means any communication block you are having basic sampling sampling next quantizing next you are having encoding okay here you are having any digital communication digital signal processing application we are using okay any signal is there first we will sample it next we will quantize it by using uniform or non uniform quantization that complete process is called discrete random sequence okay mostly we are using for digital signal processing application or digital communication applications we are using this discrete random sequence now next we are going to discuss about the deterministic and non deterministic process what is deterministic deterministic process means okay we can predict based on the past values based on the past history of data we can predict the future values okay that is a deterministic process process can be deterministic process if its future values of any sample function whatever we discuss these are all the sample functions these are all the sample functions okay sample functions can be predicted from its past values okay that is called deterministic process all periodic signals are deterministic process you can take the example of sinusoidal signal okay same example they given here x of t equal to a sin omega t omega t plus theta a is the amplitude omega naught is angular frequency theta is a angular okay here you are considering theta equal to 0 degrees okay then you are having the this is a sinusoidal signal after certain time period it repeats every regular intervals of time this is a deterministic values okay where the parameters may be the random variables okay then still the it is a deterministic process means future values can be you can predict the next instant based on the previous instants okay that is this is a periodic signal all the periodic signals are the deterministic process okay of the sample function can be detected from its known shape non deterministic random process okay this is a random process if the future values of the sample function cannot be detected from its observed past values this is called non deterministic process that is a concept of probability okay that is a concept of probability and random variables and random process okay all these are the non deterministic process now next la last topic distribution and density function what is the definition of distribution and density function we already discussed the distribution and density function of a particular random variable okay if x is a random variable then fx of x fx of x represents probability distribution function or cumulative distribution function which is equal to pro probability of capital x less than or equal to up to the value of x this is the definition of distribution of particular random variable now we are discussing the random process okay here what you are having in place of x x comma t then here also you are having probability of x of t less than or equal to x okay just the one more variable is included that is time t along with random variable x okay same definition here x of t is a stochastic process or random process then for a fixed time time is fixed then x of t represents a random variable okay then its distribution function is fx of x capital x represents what is a capital x represents random variable small x represents a value and time this is a time t this is the definition notice that depends on time since for a different time 
it is behaving as a different random variable okay for different time it is behaving different random variable because the density function will be changed density function is changing because density function is calculated for a particular instant okay fx of x is equal to d by dx of capital you know the definition of random variable fx of x is equal to small fx of x is equal to d by dx of capital fx of x okay here the variable is x okay in place of x you are having fx of t comma x comma t equal to d by dx of capital fx of x comma t this is the definition of density function now next further represents the first order first order density function because you are having the order is 1 that is called it is called as first order probability density function of the process similarly for if you are having two different instants okay and previously we have taken for two instants okay here you are having two instant t1 t2 okay for two instants what is that you are going to get fx of x1 comma x2 t1 comma d2 because you are having the x1 okay this is t1 t2 okay t1 you are having it is behaving as x1 and t2 it is behaving as x2 okay for that you can extend this is called for joint okay whenever you are having two variables we should call this as joint distribution function okay joint distribution function okay this is for two different time instants thank you